Hey everybody, I hope y'all doing well today. I'm going to try to get this done and up pretty quickly because, uh, well, Susie's outside the door and she's brought me snow and wind. And I'm afraid I might lose power. So, let's quit babbling. Let's get started about last night's episode. I thought it was pretty good. It was a bit slow compared to the first two. And, yeah, I like the speed more. <laughs> I do like a lot of stuff that goes slowly, but... Not the walking dead, but I like it much better when it's fast. Uh, I know they had to build in a lot of things, a lot of exposition to fill in the holes that people would need to know about what's going on. Uh, I did like the way the governor came on there, and I like, like I was watching Talking Dead, you know, afterwards, and it was, they said it was the first uh, episode without Rick. That is true, and all shows need that. You know, you need a break from the characters from time to time. And I thought that was pretty good. I thought the little bit that it picked up at the end was pretty good. And the very end was kind of fucked up. <laughs> Pardon my French, but yeah. With all them heads. And Merle. Oh, fuck. I love Michael Rooker. I have since I first watched him in uh, Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. And Merle's just too good a character not to have back on that show. And I'm happy to see him back. I hope they keep him for at least a little while. And I hope him and Daryl kind of meet back up. Yeah, I think, think that'll be a good thing. And yeah, and next week's episode looks really good. And I hope it is. And anything y'all got... Talk about about it in the in the bottom, please do. And we'll see y'all next week. Hope y'all enjoyed these and if you ain't watched it yet, I'm sorry for all the spoilers. Bye.